go. There's a lad here. Do you reckon you could catch him if he jumped all up? No? We better not do that then, okay. Any, okay, where's our artistic director at the front there, sir? Where would you like Duncan to go next? Up the top. Up the top. You sure? Yeah. The scaffolding poles are half the width of his tyres that are soaking wet. You think you should ride up the top there? Yeah. Okay. Let's give that a go now. What you will notice is Duncan's tyres deflate like very that. slightly over the edges Jump. of the scaffolding poles here. He's dropped his tyre pressure to try and give him the grip to hop sideways up to the box. Now, I don't need to tell you one little slip, and this is definitely not going to go too well. There he goes. Oh yeah, give it up for Duncan there, please. Serious skills. And now I think he's going to attempt to launch this huge gap all the way back. Oh! No. Landing right on the edge of the box there. You got that can of iron brew there. Let's have a wee challenge for Duncan. He'll show you the accuracy. What we're going to do is put this can of iron brew down here. And what Duncan is going to attempt to do is jump down and crush it with his back wheel here. Now I do know it is an offence under Scottish law to do something like that to a can of iron brew, but bear with us, we're going to do this one. So, anybody fancy giving him a count now? Did you not hear the countdown? Everyone was doing that, no? Okay, let's, let's just, we won't bother with the countdown. It's raining, they're grumpy, it's fine. Watch for his back wheel. Oh, oh nice. nice. Smash to smithereens there. Millimetre accuracy from Duncan. A little souvenir for anyone? No? Okay. One more? No, it's a tough crowd, isn't it? Would you like one more stun? Yeah! Was that a groan or a boo? Come on, do you want one more stun? Just for you at the back there. This one is dedicated to you for the loudest cheer of the day. Okay, one more from Duncan here, the warm-up show. What's he going to do? Making his way back. Oh, he looks like he's heading back up to the top of the big platform again. No. What's he going to do? Do you want me to lay down on the ramp? I don't think so. Nick, you don't want to see me lay down on the ramp, do you? Yeah. yeah. Two people. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> right. Ah, it's flipping, soaking. Oh, what about Ricky? Yeah, yeah. You're in the stunt. So, Ricky, get yourself up here. That's a good point. You need to earn your wages too. So, Ricky here, who tried to practice jump, did a massive skin and just about decked it there. We're not going to make him useful by lying him down on a soaking wet ramp here. And I believe what Duncan is now going to attempt to do is to jump down and land. Spread your legs. Okay. Oh. And in between Ricky's legs here. Now Ricky here has still got his helmet on his head. I don't know about you, sir, but I think I would be repositioning that helmet for optimum. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. You, come on, can we please get a little countdown of you? He's going to jump down between his legs. Come on, with me. Five, four, three, two, one. What was that? Off. Is that purpose? You try to psych him out. Ricky's nerves are still okay. Let's do this properly. To land in between Ricky's legs again. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Oh! You, did, you didn't land on him. I'm a bit disappointed there. I don't think he needs that helmet anymore. I don't think he needs that helmet. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And now Duncan is like, oh, ouch! Felt <laughs> that one. So look at the accuracy of Duncan here. A couple more little hops and do you know what? Ricky, I think you should give Duncan a little kiss. Go on, give him a wee kiss. Oh, look at that. No hard feelings, isn't that nice? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Duncan and Ricky the Clan Psycho Stunt Team. Give a wee round of applause to them, will you? There you go, my friend. Now we're going to be back at 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. We're going to do some bigger, more dangerous next. Can I have a warm welcome for Duncan, please? Now, as I say, a former British Trials champion, if you haven't seen or heard of Trials before, these rather wacky looking bikes. There's actually on ITV tonight, there's another team of 
Trials Raiders who are going to be on, I think, it, what's it called? Let's Get Gold, something like that. Who cares, he says, it's not me. <laughs> so Trials Bike, built to be as small, as manoeuvrable, as light as possible. So he can get this bike to launch big gaps, do big drops, and hopefully it won't snap again. It has very, very strong brakes, hopefully. Yeah, the brakes just about strong enough on those ones there. So there's no suspension on this bike, there are brakes, there's not even a saddle, there's no cheating on this bike basically. And I don't know if you can notice them, there's a guy on top of a trailer there with one of those embarrassed grins that says, oh I really don't want to do this, because I'm definitely going to get out of the way. Because Ricky's job is to try and jump this ramp and stop, see if he can do that. Oh. <laughs> Just about. And that is him doing a jump at about half the speed necessary to do a trip. How does that make you feel, Ricky? Pretty scared. You're pretty scared. It's drying out a little bit. Maybe the four o'clock show, you never know. We'll see. Yay! Okay, we might get something out of Ricky a bit late, he says. If you're nice enough. We know the beautiful people of Paisley are going to be nice to us here. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> you can sense them from Edinburgh, can't you? I can feel that. <laughs> right. Let's get Duncan in action. The man here from Inverness, the former British Trials Chairman, he's competed across the globe for Great Britain in the sport of competition trials. Now that sport involves trying to manoeuvre this bike over really small gaps into very narrow windows, so he's basically the most accurate bike rider, fingers crossed, because he's going to need to be to ride in these conditions. The control he has on the brakes here as well, you can see they basically landed onto the front wheel and gave it just enough front brake to lever the back wheel onto the box, and now he has to do that up and onto the big platform here, this seven footer. So he's got to land basically into what I used to call an endo, you know the back wheel in here, land front wheel there, and hope that all of this doesn't basically slide across the floor and he goes splat. Because you don't want to see him go splat, do you? Ah, oh, that's nice. Usually we get at least a couple of people saying, yes, we want carnage. Oh, yeah. Just landing with enough front brake there to make sure the back wheel got up, got up and onto the box there. And now Duncan just eyeing up a nice little, there's a bit of chewing gum there, that's your target, okay? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the only grippy bit of tarmac there is here. Aim for your back wheel to land right there, because he's going to do a big drop now. His head about 15 feet above the ground. He's going to hop onto the back wheel to the front wheels, hanging over the edge, lean over the back of the bike, and then just gently splat. <laughs> and a little bit of whiplash there as well, why not? <laughs> Ricky's on strike. <laughs> He's there with his arms folded, like, where have you brought me to here? This sucks. So it looks like he's back to Duncan. Is that? Stand here. Oh, is this just to prove how accurate you are? So you're not going to get a tire mark on my forehead, no? Poss unless you slip, which is pretty high possibility. Okay, seeing the show about trust in Duncan here. Please just get over Donald, I'm a bit scared here. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Stop it. Stop trying to psych me out. Okay, you did actually psych me out. I didn't think you were going to go there. <laughs> oh well. Right, now, where else have we got to go? Ah, a little bit of accuracy here. The national drink, it isn't Buck Fast, it is Iron Brew. <laughs> Duncan is now going to launch up this just to show you the accuracy. This is about half the width of his tires, and try and land back wheel there and crush it perfectly. A little bit of extreme recycling for you here, okay? See if you can get this. Can we have a bit of encouragement for him, please? Oh, <laughs> oh there's some left in that. You're supposed to empty it. You're meant to drink it before you do that. Oh well, let's get that out of the way. Still on strike, Ricky? Still on strike? Okay, it's back to Duncan. <laughs> I reckon, do you think Duncan should get Ricky's wages as well for this one? We're going to double that to six quid, Duncan. Imagine that. Right, now, let's 
going to head back to the seven foot box and I think we only have one place left to go and it's the big one, the 12 foot box that we have set up here twice head height separates Duncan to that with basically some soaking wet scaffolding poles which have absolutely no grip at all now Duncan let me know earlier on his back break isn't really working so this is yeah, extra sketchy what he has done though is he's dropped the tyre pressures right down so as his wheels go on the poles here you should see them wrap around them to try and get a little bit more grip even though it's still super sketchy I'm going to get out of the way can we give him a little bit of encouragement again please? Woo! And then he goes one wheel on, he's going to side hop his way up, bit of a wobble, oh go on, oh yes, oh my word that is so so sketchy, and now dropping off on the 12 foot back down to the 5 foot box, oh my word. And he's not finished because Ricky's still on strike. <laughs> okay. A little slice of danger. <laughs> I love this. You see the facial expression on Ricky's face? He's got this horrible like battle going on in his head. He's like, I know I'm going to crash, but I know I should do it. It's like a little devil and a little angel. Angel says, Ricky, you've got a three-week holiday in France. And the devil says, come on. Man up, let's see something. So first up, I think Duncan's going to launch this. <laughs> you just have a little think up there, Rick. We'll try and get them to give you some encouragement, get your adrenaline levels up. But now, Duncan going to go for this monster gap we here from the 12 foot over to the 7 foot box here. He's going to launch all his body weight across this gap and he's aiming to land right on the edge of the box here. That's the plan anyway. So, so sketchy. Again, I'm going to get out of the way here. He goes on the back wheel. One big launch. Oh my word. Making his way back down from there. I think we've had it. You've, you've done your session. Now give it up for Duncan there, please. And now... I think we're going to, are we possibly going to get one jump out of Ricky now? I was joking slightly about it being sketchy, but just for safety, can we have everybody at the bottom there? Could you just move out of the way here? I'm not actually joking at this point, yeah. Especially all the small children. We don't want to be in the headlines of the newspaper, so everybody, if you go out of the way there. And the camera, cameraman senses a little bit of dangerous things, so this is where I want to be. Duncan is going to catch Ricky. We're going to get Ricky, what do you think? He's going to go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so sketchy. Can you please give it up for Ricky? Oh! <laughs> oh my word, that was ridiculous. Give it up for Ricky and Duncan there. Thank you very much. Oh dear. We are going to be back at four o'clock as well. So if you do have any pals, you think we'd enjoy a little bit of sketchiness please come back i'll have yourselves a great afternoon Yay!